Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamilore Akinkwolie and these are the stories we're following at the moment. The Nigerian Navy asset ablaze the vessel that was arrested about two, with about 350,000 liters of stolen automated gas oil, also known as diesel, in River State. The commander of Operation Delta Saver Admiral Olusha Ferreira said the vessel, which has now been put in use for two years, was used as a storage tank for legally refined products. The vessel was seized by personnel of the Nigerian Navy ship but find a border court on Wednesday, August 16, 2023, while three suspects have been arrested. And scores of demonstrators have crashed with security operatives on Thursday outside the premises of the National Headquarters of the All Progressive Congress, APC, a few hours before the inauguration of the new general officers of the party's National Working Committee. The protest comes in the wake of the election of zonal officers of the NWC, which was unveiled by the National Secretary of the ruling party, Ajibola Bashiru. Bashiru said the election of new officers was in line with the mandated mandates given to them by the National Executive Committee. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says the recent estimate of the country's foreign exchange reserve by J.P. Morgan was presented out of context. The director of the Monetary Policy Department of the CBN, Hassan Mahmoud, said that fluctuations and liabilities to the reserve were only natural and normal. He added that the CBN owned about 80% of funds in the reserve, mainly to support the local currency in periods of volatility, as well as to boost confidence of foreign investors. And the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has said the new BA.2.86 lineage of coronavirus may be more capable than other old variants in causing infection in people who have previously had COVID-19 and who have been vaccinated. The CDC said it was too soon to know whether this major cause causes more severe illness compared with previous variant, but due to the high number of mutations detected in the lineage, there are concerns about its impact on immunity from vaccine and previous infections. And the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, says Nigeria's unemployment rate dropped to 4.1% in the first quarter of 2023, from 5.3% recorded in the previous quarter. In the fourth quarter of 2020, the Bureau had pegged the country's unemployment rate at 33.3%. The MBS, in a statement on Thursday, said the latest unemployment report adopted a new methodology and presented an in-depth analysis of the labor market. And on the global scene, President of the United States, Joe Biden, has suggested Vladimir Putin's involvement in the death of Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin in a, who died in a plane crash on Wednesday. Prigozhin and nine others were killed in an ill-fated jet believed to belong to the Wagner boss, but the cause of the crash was not immediately clear, and it is believed to have been a signal from Putin to Russia elites ahead of the 2024 elections. And in sport, FIFA has opened a disciplinary proceeding against Luis Rubiales on Thursday after the Spanish Football Federation president kissed Spain star Jenny Emerso on the lips following the Women's World Cup final last weekend. FIFA says the incident may constitute violation of Article 13, Paragraph 1 and 2 of the FIFA Disciplinary Code. Meanwhile, Spain star Emoso has released a joint statement and called for action to be taken against the RFEF president. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Tamilore Akinkwolie.